Hello, this is the headlining news around the East African region from Kenya. Controversial lawyer politician Miguna Miguna is set to arrive at Nairobi, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport today against the wishes of Buhuri's government, which has deported him twice in the past three months. Miguna's recent controversies started after he sworn in NASA's leader, Braila Odinga, as the people's president. From Rwanda, Rwandan senior officials from the Infrastructure and Affiliate Agencies Ministry and with police met at the point where the Gatuna Gishumbi Kigali Highway Road curved in on Monday in a bid to seek an intermediate solution. Easing movement on the road as well as proceed with the repairs are among the immediate actions set by the authorities. The curve in occurred some 77 kilometers from Chigali at an area called Rankojo in Shumba sector, Gishumbi district. Moving on to Uganda, three people died on sports and two others sustained severe injuries following a bus accident that occurred on the Kampala Hoima Highway on Monday night. The link bus registration number UAM 492B with over 60 passengers on board was traveling from Kampala to Hoima district when it was hit by a speeding trailer carrying a wheel loader moving in the opposite direction. The accident occurred around 10.30 p.m. at at Chiamba in Bukomelo sub-county in Chivoga district. News coming in from Burundi. Burundians will on Thursday vote in a referendum on sweeping constitutional reforms that would shore up the power of President Pierre Nkurunziza and enable him to rule until 2034. With opponents called, beaten, killed, on living in exile, there seems little doubt the amendments will pass, enabling the 54-year-old in power since 2005 to remain in charge for another 16 years. News from South Sudan. Reports confirmed by the Uganda People's Liberation Army spokesperson Brigadier Louis Rao Kuang that South Sudan United Front Army carried out a series of sustained attacks on Raja and its outputs are untrue and do not require further elucidation, an official said on Tuesday. Former South Sudan Army Chief of Staff General Paul Malong Awan speaks at the presidential palace in Juba, November 2016, 2000. 2017. Finally, from Tanzania, Tanzania's Stanbic Bank has lost the bid to challenge payments of over 200 million shillings as compensation to their former chief legal counsel, Solomon Isioi, for allegedly wrongfully terminating his employment service. This follows the decision of the Court of Appeal to strike out with costs an application for stay of execution of a decree of the High Court's Labor Division at Dar Salaam regarding the employment dispute. Three Three justices ruled in favor of Sioi, the respondent, after upholding a ground of objection he had presented through his advocate, Godwin Nyaisa. That was the headlining news around the East African region.